Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a unboxing and kind of a detailed review on this tripod case. This is Amazon's number two tripod case. This is the Hemtop tripod carrying case, 39 by 7 by 7. Model number 100 CM. The reason I got this one, it's got a heavy duty with a shoulder strap. The other one I bought did not have the shoulder strap, but this one can be hard to find in stock sometimes. They don't keep many of them in stock and it goes out of stock pretty quick. Okay, so it comes in a really nice bag. This is the model number 100 CM. Okay, so something I can tell right away, it is, it's got a lot of padding in it. I can just tell by unpacking it. So at this end, it does have a double zipper. And you know, these things seem really, really heavy duty. Um, it just feels like it's got pretty good quality and kind of heavy duty. Okay, so the other end is kind of like a, it, it doesn't zip all the way to the end on the other end, but on one end, it does unzip all the way. So your carrying strap is inside here. Looks like we've got some straps to even strap down. Looks pretty nice. We've got a zipper pouch in here. I was wanting to keep like the instruction manual. And not super deep, but pretty nice. Yeah, I can tell right away this thing has a lot, a lot of padding. And it's not super heavy. I will be doing a comparison video with this bag that I bought. So that one you see there is it's about the same price, but they have it in stock. I had to get this. This is kind of one that doesn't have a shoulder strap. And I had to get that one because I was going on vacation and I needed one. And so I had to wait on the other one to come in. Looks like the brand is Hersnet or Hersent. Model number HBP03-US. So this is that one I had to get that doesn't have a shoulder strap. I can tell right away this is kind of, I mean, the zippers feel okay. But boy, this zipper, it just feels heavy duty compared to that one. So this one without the shoulder strap, um, it does have like these legs, these pockets you can put stuff in. It's padded, but it's not very padded. It's not padded much at all. So here I've got the E-Image tripod, which is a really big one with the fluid headed on it. Let's put it in the new one. Okay, so it fits in here very well. I like that the bottom of it is is kind of closed. The fluid head's got plenty of room. You do have to make sure you stow the handle properly. But uh, I'm going to put the manual in here. I don't know if I'll use these. I mean, these are nice. I guess you tie them. So I guess you can tie them to help keep it there. But I'm pretty sure the uh, zipper's going to do a pretty good job. Well, this is unexpected. I was expecting the fluid head to fit in here. But with the handle, you know, down in kind of a storage position, the fluid head doesn't want to, it doesn't want to zip up. Now it fit just fine in there like this. So I might have to do a little bit more work with the fluid head. I'm not sure. I was really wanting this bag to work. It's got a nice pocket on the outside. But it's definitely the inside is not as big as that one. And I can tell right away, yeah, this inside is a lot bigger. Huh. I thought for sure they would have been made about the same. They're the same length. But as far as what's inside is different. So let me show you the shoulder strap. This is what I was really wanting for the shoulder strap. It looks like it's, so it's made out of plastic. So it's, you know, it, it does run the possibility of breaking. It does have this rubber thing on it. Okay, so even if I take the handle off, it's still really, really tight right there. So I'm not gonna be able to use it. Darn, I was really wanting to use it. This one's okay, it's just not very padded and doesn't have a, a shoulder strap. So I'll put a link to both of these in my show description notes. And again, I've got another video just on that bag. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.